hello and welcome to my channel this is the nomadic goddess and i am jasmine this is going to be a general monthly reading for the sign of virgo for the month of may now you don't just have to be a virgo sun you could be a virgo sun moon rising and or mercury and just because i said it was for the month of may does not mean it is solely for that time it is for whenever you are guided to my channel and decide to hit play because this is a general reading, you shouldn't take everything with you. If the shoe fits, lace it up, find the matching pair, and travel well. If it does not fit, leave it. There's no need to carry messages that do not ring true for you. Now, I am clear audience. That means that the divine, whatever you want to call it, God, goddess, spirit, source, the divine, whatever you have it, or whatever floats your boat. The divine sends you messages via songs, bits and pieces of movies that I've seen, and bits and pieces of books that I've read. Now, the songs do get stuck in my head, and I sing them. Unfortunately, I cannot sing. So, if you can put up with my non-singing self, I hope you enjoy, discover something new about yourself, and don't be afraid to dive deep. With that said, let's get started. Virgo, before I even started shuffling your cards while I was clearing the energy from Taurus, I literally got the Queen of the Virgo herself, Miss Beyonce. Um, I want. I feel like it's Cuff It, cause it's. I feel like falling in love. It is Cuff It. Falling in love. I'm in the mood to fuck something now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm sensing a trend. Sensing a trend here regarding love. Because Taurus was like that as well. Let me see. What is Venus in? We finna, finna see something real quick. Uh, let me go. What is Venus in right now? <clears throat> Ah, uh, Venus is in Gemini. What's the moon? Oh, the moon is in Aries. Hmm. Interesting energy. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury for the month of May. What message do we have for Virgo? Took that one back in just in case. I'm gonna take that one though, because that one was a flipper. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for the month of May? Yeah, 
two master numbers here, 44 and 22. <clears throat> Do we have for Virgo? One more time, please. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna just take them. We have wisdom and play. And confusion. What messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury for the month of May? <clears throat> hearing you played yourself <laughs> who are who are you telling this to or who for some of you someone is telling you this for but for most of you for majority of you you are telling that to somebody you played yourself like i'm literally hearing dj khaled you played yourself what messages do we have for virgo something with rising venus and Mercury. Mm, 30 repair, uh, 38 repair. Mm, that's interesting too, because, uh, boys to men, uh, water runs dry. Got in my head before this card even came out. Consciousness is light. <clears throat> All right, what messages do we have for Virgo? What messages do we have for Virgo?
messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Mercury? What messages do we have for Virgo? Failure to commit. Ooh, secret revealed. Messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or Mercury for the month of May? <clears throat> Shadow work needed. Oop, third party. And last but not least, one more. Give me one more. Ready to come out. Come on again. Oh. Jesus. Oh, there we go. Fuck this system. <laughs> I literally got a uh, fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Okay. We have 111. Angels are ready to fulfill. To fully support you in this endeavor so you so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love i am created angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so, you, so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love i am creative then we have 17. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. I am independent. Virgo, that sound like you. <laughs> that sound like y'all, cause y'all, one thing I know, um, Virgos, y'all gonna get shit done. And we have 44. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination. And even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. <clears throat> now, I will say this, um, especially because I've witnessed it with my own eyes, because my bestie is a Virgo. Um the love of her life but the way that she flourishes and the comfort of her tribe the way that like her parents her family and even her friends like have her back like she could be like she could call me and be like jasmine i need you to watch the kids and i'm like i got you boo but like the way that she just flourishes in that energy and the way that she is so supported and so held and so loved, it's amazing. Like it's a beautiful thing to see. And then we have, and we also have two master master numbers, 44 and 22. So we have 22 here. It says you are in possession of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned with the master number 22. <clears throat> and you know she's a virgo and she's hella creative like i said she's, she is hella creative and she's also a perfectionist which is it's not me we all got our strengths my little sidey self be like all right bigger picture i don't i don't want to focus on the details but then my libra moon comes swinging in and be like focus on the details and we have um wisdom and play our intuition knows more than we do so with the wisdom and play wisdom and play is more so of what brings you fulfillment what brings you joy like what brings you that like childlike enthusiasm and playfulness to your life because i realized that 
especially for me because I have a whole bunch of plants in my fifth house and for some of you you guys need to check out what is in your fifth house your sun or your venus or even your moon maybe in your fifth house whenever I'm playing whenever I'm I am in that energy of just like childlike playfulness my intuition just be I be on it like more so than I am normally and it's because that I am in that moment where I am aligned not only am I aligned with my higher self but I'm aligned with my higher self my inner child and me and I am just in the moment and it's just enjoying it and I'm just in that energy of just it's kind of sort of like a joyous fulfillment for me. <clears throat> then we have 36 confusion, growth hurts, heals and harnesses a way through the uncertainty. With the confusion card, I feel like, because it, it's telling me to focus on the lantern. Let me see if I can, there we go. The lantern right here, it, it appears to be right where the solar plexus are. So a lot of you may be having confusions about your sense of self and your sense of self-worth. And a lot of you may have been, it have, a lot of you may be having issues with that because of traumatic experiences from your past, especially dealing with family, maybe mom, maybe you have mother wounds. And I'm also hearing spirit is saying, it's okay to want to recreate yourself. It's okay to want to deconstruct who you are now, like tear it completely down, and then reinvent yourself. A lot of you are feeling, a lot of you may be feeling confusion about that as well. You're like, well, I thought I was this person, but now I don't, I, I'm not really sure if I want to be this person anymore. It's okay. You can go ahead and recreate yourself, my love. And then we have 38 repair. Making amends rather than fun times reveals a relationship's true constitution. This is dealing with relationships. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Especially uh, familiar um, relationships per per pertaining to your family. If you're always kiki keying it up and laughing it up and <clears throat> not honestly getting to the meat of the issues that you have with certain family members, you're always going to be in a state of, I don't want to say dysfunction, but I'm hearing dysfunction. So I'm going to say it. You're always going to be, dis be in a state of dysfunction because you guys aren't getting to the root of the issues you aren't you aren't actually healing it you, what you're doing is you're escaping it and then we have 44 lantern consciousness is light with 44 i'm feeling like some of you may have libra energy because of the way like this is giving big justice vibes but i think Virgos is also, I think you guys also have skills too, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Okay, so what I'm getting from this card, there is a door in the background. A lot of you... This is your old consciousness. This is your old perspective, your old way of thinking. Now, a lot of you are looking back. You see how the, the woman, she's blindfolded, so she can't look back. A lot of you are trying to look back, but spirit is blocking you from looking back because the way to a new consciousness, for some of you, isn't looking and isn't dwelling or isn't living in the past. It's looking forward. It's taking everything that you've learned 
from your past cultivating it so that it works so you can build your own future all right and then we have failure to commit i feel like <clears throat> for some of you failure to commit is failure you guys are feeling to commit to yourself to your gifts especially your gifts especially if you have amazing talents like especially if you're like creative if you create things that like, if you make t-shirts if you just have catchy sayings and like you 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 could put them on t-shirts and sell them or like you're a poet or artist any creative endeavor I feel, and I feel like the the reason why you won't commit to that is because you're afraid you're you're afraid to fail but newsflash my loves you are already failing because you aren't starting not starting is art it's failure in its own way not starting is failure then we have a secret revealed some of you are going to find out how family members especially like the aunts like an aunt or an uncle you're gonna find out how they truly feel about you or i'm here and you're going to find out how your spouse's aunt or uncle truly feels about you or family member truly feels about you i'm hearing aunt or uncle and then we have shadow work needed The shadow work that you're refusing to do is tied into why you're having blocks in your creativity. Like you're, there's something that's going on in your shadow. There's something that you were told as a child when it comes to your creativity that you need to revisit and heal. then we have a third party now i have two different third party cards in this deck we have a third party and then it has on the bottom a person but and then we have this third party so third party doesn't have to be per se a person especially in this case because it doesn't state it a uh, third party could be a job uh yeah a job uh yeah a bearing job <laughs> or just basically like you're so focused on working 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 especially if for those of you who have one more than one job if you have more than one job then you need to kind of sort of like pull back a little from one job so you can have enough time to spend with yourself so you can love up on yourself. Because uh, I feel like a lot of you, a lot of you guys are using the second or third job to avoid the shadow work, avoid having to deal with this childhood trauma that is coming up. Then we have book the system. <clears throat> With book this system, I'm automatically hearing spirit is telling me that you guys aren't meant to do it the way your parents did it. You guys are here to create. I'm hearing fuck reinventing the wheel. You're here to create a new version of the wheel. One that's faster, one that's better, one that's I'm hearing everlasting. All right, Virgo, that was your reading. I hope to see you next month. I will be posting these on the first. So I will see you guys in June. All right. Bye-bye.